Hi everyone, welcome back to my microgreen madness. Um, just wanted to show some progress on where we've been going with all of this. Uh, the other day, what did I put up? I'm doing a, a perlite vermiculite mixture versus just straight cocoa peat and um, weighing the, the amount of seeds that we're putting in there. Um, I don't know, we'll just come down here as well. So if we point into uh, this one here, just forgive my uh, amateur efforts. We've got, so we've got vermiculite perlite, a 50-50 blend. And I've done like a baby uh, baby lettuce mix and just seeing what every, everything pops up there. And cress seeds and the same mixtures here um, with the baby lettuce mixture and also the uh, cress mixture. I've done five grams of dried seed on these. Haven't soaked any of them because of the, you can see the little jealous sort of membrane. It makes it really difficult if you soak the, uh, the cress seeds and then pop them in and We've done two and a half grams of the, the lettuce mix, which is a rocket, uh, I'll have to get, I'll put it in the comments, a rocket uh, lettuce, um, I, can't, I have the other name, endive or something like that. But there's four little ones in there and we're just seeing what sort of comes up. So initially I'd say it looks like the cress is just a little bit more advanced in the perlite and vermiculite mix. And it looks like so far, it's about the same with the little baby leaf uh, lettuce mix as well. So look, that's our little setup over here where everything goes. Just getting a little bit more scientific on it all now. We can see the snow peas that I planted on the 4th of July really coming up well in that um, cocoa peat mix or cocoa coir. It's a lot more sustainable. Um, mustard's come up really well. Radish and mustard, they were both done on the 10th of July. And as you can see, just, just on 10 days, they're, they're ready to go and broccoli and wheatgrass. There's, there's some broccoli seeds that I've just checked. I haven't really compared them against anything, but I thought the other day, why not actually uh, do some comparisons and see how this goes? So yeah, we're, we're, we've got coriander, really struggling with getting the coriander going. And to the side of them, which everything's sort of, it's a little bit symbiotic. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but we've got some um, really yummy oyster mushrooms coming through as well, but they're taking a little bit longer than I had expected. Um, so we're probably going to transform this back and then in the cupboards here, excuse my clothes, uh, maybe do a couple of big bags. We've got the, um, kit out the back there where we're going to, um, sterilize or pasteurize our own straw as well. So thanks for joining me on the channel. Any questions pop them in uh, on, on downstairs, downstairs. What am I talking about in the comments? And hopefully we'll talk to you guys all soon. Rock and roll. Bye.